Or was that guy who was too slow, too weak, too skinny for the girls? None of this comes naturally to me. I'm not built as a strength athlete. That's why when I went and worked with some of the best genetics athletes, I was able to help them because I knew what you could do if you had no potential to get to a level you didn't think you could get to. And so my athletes consistently won. Now I've worked with hundreds of coaches who've gone way beyond what they thought they were going to do. And it still doesn't come naturally to me when I change the game, when I move the, the, the posts on what I want to achieve. I have to work hard at it. It takes time. I've built $3 million businesses, just starting the fourth with ATG for coaches. And it's a challenge. It's a journey. But it's worth it. And you're worth it. And it's worth doing things that are uncomfortable and doing things that don't come naturally to you. And it's okay if it takes you to some time to catch up to the level that other people are at. But in the end, if you persist, then my experience is that you will achieve to an extremely high level, as I've seen with lots of professional athletes, lots of high level coaches, and my own experience. It's a decision. What decision are you going to make?